Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day. Welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel. Would you like to see what I picked up when I went shopping? First off, I just want to say thank you to everyone who sent me a message on Instagram and left a comment on my shopping vlog uh, video. It was really, 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 really exciting to be out and about, if a little bit scary. Now, I know some of you have been out and about for quite a while, and I know some of you are still on lockdown. So I appreciate all of the positive messages and comments you left. It was fun and you may be aware, you may not be aware if you're new to my channel, but if you are not new to my channel, you may be aware that browsing around the shops is a big hobby of mine. I can do a straight eight hours, come home completely empty handed and totally happy <laughs> with that. Obviously I prefer if I come home with something. So I have a bag full of goodies here. Now this did cause a little bit of confusion. Uh, I hadn't been to Gucci. The bag I used on the day was my Gucci Marmont camera bag, um, but this is a shopping bag that came with my original pair of Gucci booties that hubby got me for my anniversary gift. And this is a brilliant, brilliant shopping bag. Um, it's quite capacious shall we say but because it's quite thin material um, I was able to fold it up really really nicely so it fitted nicely in my Gucci Marmel shoulder bag camera bag they don't call it a camera bag I call it a camera bag the Gucci Marmel shoulder bag um, along with all my other bits and pieces my other essentials and when the time came I was able to whip it out give it a little shake start putting things in there so I'm going to take you through what I bought. But before that, if you are new to my channel, I am Gwenny and I love luxury in all of its glorious forms. And if you love luxury in all of its glorious forms, then go ahead, come and join us. Hit that subscribe button, ring my bell. I put out videos every Monday and Thursday, sometimes on a Saturday. Please, please, please give the videos you enjoy the thumbs up love hit that like button and don't forget to follow me on instagram right let's get into the goodies um i showed a lot of handbags because frankly that's what i like browsing most but i don't want to disappoint anyone so i'm going to tell you up front i did not buy any handbags I've added a few to my wish list, but I didn't buy any on the day i wasn't really planning on buying much at all <laughs> and the shop that I ended up buying most from, uh, I didn't even feature in my vlog because I went in there to get a bite to eat and I just grabbed armfuls of stuff. And yes, that is the mighty Marks and Spencer. So I'll take you through what I got there first. Here we go. I'm just going to pop this up on the side and then start pulling things out. I will also include some mod shots and everything I can link down below will be linked down below. So the first thing I grabbed as I ran through Marks and Spencer, I'm actually wearing them now and I've worn them a lot in the six days that I've owned them. Uh, they have also been through the washing machine. So far so good. They are a pair of light grey jogging bottom shorts and they are so comfy and they've got pockets. Normally what I'll do if I buy anything is I'll force hubby to watch my fashion show. I didn't do that with my last shopping haul. I thought, you know, you can watch it all on the video because he watches all of my videos. Um, and I got told off for not doing a fashion show in advance of filming the video. So I did a fashion show for hubby. I popped these grey shorts on and uh, I don't think I've taken them off since. That's not true. I have taken them off. They've been through the washing machine, but oh my God, I absolutely love them. They have them in navy as well. I'm tempted to get a navy pair, but what I'd really like is a sort of cream pair. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for those. So that's my first thing, and they're a big, big, big tick. The next thing I picked up, which will absolutely go with the shorts, but not that I actually picked them up in order to go with the shorts, it was just a happy coincidence, is this kind of camouflage vest top type thing. Thing. Um, I like it because it's got 
sort of greys, pale pink, cream, um, a little bit of a sort of beigey colour in there as well. I'm um, trying really, really hard to get into lighter colours for summer because basically my wardrobe, summer, winter, is exactly the same, except in summer I wear sandals and in winter I wear boots and a jacket. That's pretty much the only difference. Um, so I'm trying really, really hard to get into lighter colours. Now, I felt like this is a size 18, because I thought I'd go for my usual size. They look quite roomy, and it does feel quite nice and loose on. Um, I did wonder if this was a little bit gappy, but when I showed Hubby in the fashion show, he said, oh yeah, it's completely fine. So, I'm um, in my mod shots, I am wearing a black bra. I am going to show you this with me wearing the black bra, not because I'm some sort of hussy, but because I want you to see, so you can tell me if you think it's a little bit too gappy or if it's fine. But yeah, this kind of uh, jumped out at me a little bit as I walked through the doors. I looked left and then did a bit of a double take and I thought, hmm, like the look of that. And this was a bargainous, £5.50. One of my lights has died already. I've had the batteries on charge for a day, so I don't know why it's died. There must be some problem with the connection or something. So apologies for the lighting. Right, the next thing I grabbed in M&S uh, was actually in the beachwear cover-up swimwear section, and it's another pair of shorts. And it is these kind of tiger print shorts that have got um, on a sort of cream background, black, with flashes of orange and a sort of corally pink. And I thought these were really, 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 really cute. And they've got pockets, so yes, please. Do love wearing shorts in summer. And um, because these are only sort of supposed to be a sort of cover-up, beach cover-up, they were only at £12.50. Um, but I thought these, and I did try this on when I did the fashion show with Hubby, um, these look really, really good with my new John Lewis um, cropped, not cropped, but kind of fitted t-shirt that I was actually wearing in my last video about the Gucci boots that were going back. So I thought those, those together work really, really nicely. Next thing I picked up was me also trying to get into the neutrals and it is this pair of trousers. Now one of the things I like about Marks and Spencers is they do do short clothes for us shorties with short legs so i'm only five foot four but i've also got incredibly short legs for someone my height so anything that says a capri pant or something is generally an ankle grazer for me or a full length trouser so this is a pair of they're kind of dark beigey kind of almost combatty without the extra pockets they've got a cuff got like an elasticated cuff on the bottom which is also zipped so you could undo that. Now these I am not sure about at all. I didn't even show hubby these in the fashion show because I was that certain that uh, they, they were going to go back. Let me know what you think. Now I don't know about you but for the last year and a bit as I've been slobbing around the house I haven't really paid that much attention to my underwear, to my knicker drawer. So I thought, do you know what, I'm going to get myself some fresh knickers. M&S, it's the place to go in the UK for knickers. So I decided to pick up some that I have already tried, so I already know that I like. Um, I bought, I've got these ones here, they're in white. These are a high leg and I found these in the kind of the Brazilian section and they're not Brazilians but they've got this kind of lacy bit. There we go, we've got a nice little V at the top and a lacy bit there. Now, I like a full coverage pant. I have never been into thongs, I've never been into bikini pants. I'm not the right shape for bikini pants. I need something high-waisted that's going to stay around my apple-shaped belly. So it's something like this with a, a nice bit of coverage, but actually still a little bit cute and a little bit flirty. Uh, these are absolutely ideal for me. These don't show under clothes or anything because this lace is kind of basically stretchy material so you'd think that it would show up but it doesn't. I also got a three pack in black but they wouldn't show up particularly well on camera so 
I uh, I took the labels off and I stuck them in the washing machine straight away so I could wear them. And because I'm trying to get into these lighter bottoms and things like that, I thought I would get myself a set of neutral coloured. Now, I don't like using the word nude because it depends on what shade you are as to whether something is nude or not. Now, this is a kind of nude colour for my colouring. It won't be nude for any or everyone, um, but I thought I would get myself some kind of nude underwear. Uh, and I saw these ones because those ones came in a set of black or a set of white. There was no kind of neutral colour. Um, so I picked these ones up and as really as soon as I've, I haven't put them on or anything, but yeah, they don't feel right. I think they're just not going to be, I, these are going back. And the last thing I picked up at Marks and Sparks is this pair of platformy-ish flat form um, sandals. They're kind of like gladiator sandals. I'm not sure if they would absolutely qualify as gladiator sandals. The label says standard fit. It doesn't really tell me anything at all. Um, these are a size five and these ones do fit. So again, I'm trying to go for more summery, lighter colours. I think the reason that these stood out for me is because uh, they look very much like a pair of Doc Martin sandals that I had my eyes on, but they are in black. I thought these were quite cute. They're £45, so they're not going to break the bank at all. And um, I'm not sure if I'm keeping these because <laughs> when I put them on to try them on in the bedroom and then walked into hubby's room, it made a lot of farty noises. Now I am a juvenile, I am immature, I have a childish sense of humour uh, and I do find farts funny. I can't help it, it's been a lifelong affliction, I've just found farts funny. So. It made me laugh a lot, but when I'm out and about, do I want my feet to make farty noises? Um, not so much. So I thought could be remedied with a little bit of talcum powder or something, but then they're the open sandals, so talcum powder would spill out and you'd be able to um, I don't know, see it. So I don't know. I'm going to try these on again. I only tried them on the once. I'm going to try them on again for the mod shots and I'll see how they are then. Okay, so that was it for M&S. I then went back into John Lewis, which is where I'd started with my massage. Thank you again, Amy, you absolute legend. Um, so I went back in, obviously had a look at all the handbags and everything. Um, now, what happened with the last lockdown and when I went in store after the last lockdown was there were just loads and loads and loads of clothes on super duper sale. It never got sold in store because the stores were shut so they were just discounting everything. So I had a look around and I didn't see quite the same level of bargains this time round but I did pick up this shirt and I do like a plain v-neck t-shirt and this is in my favourite kind of grey colour that I've been looking for something in this grey for a long time. Now this t-shirt is John Lewis own brand and it was priced at £18 and I don't know if you can see on the label. Now that could be a nine or that could be a six. Who knows? I think it was a nine originally, but whoever wrote that on there, it wasn't very clear. Uh, got to the till and uh, turned out it was a fiver. So super duper bargain, absolutely love this. And the fit is perfect. I have actually meant to go online to see if there are any more of these because I'd like to pick them up if there are. I'm pretty sure I'm regressing a lot because I love leggings and when I was a teenager I lived in leggings like I cannot tell you oversized t-shirt leggings DMs and it's kind of what I would like to wear now um, but again I'm very very short so standard length leggings generally I've got too much fabric at the bottom so I always look out for these sort of three-quarter length three-quarter length leggings. These are just plain black leggings. These are quite nice thick material. I have tried these on. It's got a big waistband which generally doesn't work or hasn't worked on me. Things like yoga pants that have this big wide waistband don't work on me because 
I feel like the, the actual elastic bit is here and then the bit at the top is just kind of fabric. It doesn't really hold anything. And um, so what I find is on my apple shape, it tends to just sort of roll down because it's I'm bigger here than I am here. But I've tried these on. They seem to be um, really, really good. I haven't taken the label off yet. These are mint velvet and I got them in size large. Sometimes leggings can be a little bit on the see-through side, but these ones, I don't seem to have had any issues with uh, and my knickers being on show or anything. Edit Winnie here. It appears I spoke too soon because as I was titting around for the mod shots in these leggings, pretending that I am the 15, 16, 17, 18 year old dancer that I used to be, the damn leggings started rolling down again. So yeah, these are going to go back and I need to find a pair that doesn't have that crazy waistband. So in my last just knocking around the house mid-month vlog where we went through some of my nail varnishes and stuff I mentioned this product. This is the OPI Drip Dry and this comes in a small bottle with a tiny pipette. You paint your nails and when you finish painting your nails you just do a little pipette of the liquid over your nails and it uh, it helps to set the nail varnish. I don't know it's witchcraft I don't know how they do it um, but it helps to set the nail varnish really really quickly quickly so it's not in here because as soon as I got home I thought I'm going to change my nail varnish and uh, so I used it straight away but I will include a picture of the bottle with a little pipette brilliant 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 product this is a, a, a recommend by Gwenny and the last thing I picked up at John Lewis is a little stretchy bracelet and according to the label it is actual freshwater pearls I like the balance of the pearls and then the sort of the diamante and the plain little spaces as well I think it's very 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 cute I have a whole stack of these kind of stretchy pearl um, bracelets already but I bought it specifically to go with my Christmas present necklace this also John Lewis own brand so this necklace has it's not it's not identical so it's not perfectly matchy matchy but you've got some of this sort of crystal and then you've got some of the little same diamante and when i get the opportunity to wear these i will wear this as well so that's what i bought no handbags but they are saved up here no real luxury as you can see although i could say that the luxury is being able to be out and about again after so many months of not being able to go out and about uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of the things i picked up whether you think they suit me or if they're a big uh -uh, big no no gwenny no gwenny no put it away take it back immediately it is not for you let me know what you think I'm going to leave another video either here or here. I don't know which way around it is. If you haven't had enough of me yet and I'll see you, yes you, boop, for the next video. In the meantime, stay safe, be kind to yourselves, be kind to others, stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye